Hi guys, so in this video we're going to talk about how to connect the database. Okay, so uh, in the previous videos I have introduced how I built this website, a very simple one uh, with bootstrap, HTML and CSS. So the purpose of today is not so much about this website but about connecting the database. Okay, so let's get right into it. So the first thing we need to do is to open our database. Okay, uh, but before that, uh, I want to introduce to you the structure of the folder. This is nothing much, it's an um, image folder and then includes footer and header and then an index file. Feel free to check out my previous videos. All right, so for this video, uh, we're gonna open um, the database. So you can do that by local host and then php my admin php my admin all right so next what you want to do is to create your database so in this one uh, create database name called tutorial okay and then click create uh, it's about to be tutorial change that Yeah, we just drop it. Okay, and let's do it again. New and tutorial here and click create. All right, so now we're going to create a table called user, for example. Um, should imagine I want to make it um, five. Okay, um, we got ID. And make it primary auto increment and then we got uh, first name uh, it should be bot chart 255 last name bot chart 255 and then email we got instance of bot chart as well and finally password Okay, and it's going to watch out in 255. And everything look fine to me. Just click save. All right, there we have it. A very simple one. Uh, but now the next thing we want to do is to connect it to the our database. But uh, just remember to have a look at this. We have the server, some key information if you want to connect to the database. The server is local host because we're running on our website only, on the, our local computer only. And then we got tutorial, uh, we got users, okay. Um, also, just re just want to remind that I'm using the SAM software to run the PHP. Uh, you can have different software, or if you want to use it, you can Google SAM and then download and install you know, on your computer, okay. But just make sure that you start the database and the web server like this, you know, make sure they are running and we all good. Okay, uh, now get back to our folder. Uh, we have the index. We're not doing it with anything with it yet, but we just start by creating a uh, database dot php. Okay, so we're gonna start by open and close our php language. Here, uh, what we have is that first we need to server server and call it local house oh this this information we can obtain this information from our database that i just show you and then user um the default user for the local you know running web server is root okay and then unless you set the password if not, then the password is empty. Okay. Um, and then we've got DB or database. Uh, the name is tutorial, the one we just created. Okay. Um, the next thing we want to do is to try to connect to database. Uh, we will use the try and catch function um, because 
if we fail, then it will tell us the error. Okay, so we're gonna try. Okay, and then something, and then we're gonna catch. All right, something here. Okay, and I look back to the try first. So uh, first, I want to do a to PDO. Let me do PDO new. PDO. Okay, and we got my SQL. We got host equal server. All right, and then we got DB name. DB. All right. So the next thing we want to do is to go out of the quotation and then enter user. Which we already declare declare above, and then pass. So that means password. Okay, and then semicolon. All right. The next thing we want to do is to PDO uh, set attribute set attribute. Yep, just doing it together. Set attribute, and we say PDO. TTR uh, more and then PDO mode exception. Okay, all right. Uh, finally. Um, if it is if it successfully connect to the database, we want to echo something like successfully connected to the database. Okay, okay, and if it fail, then we will catch the error. All right, so we have PDO exception, and we should name it the error is. E and then we're gonna echo um, connection failed. Okay, and we're gonna just output the uh, the error get okay, message. Okay, so now we have the database file PHP um, and we need to go back to the index file. And then we integrate or we require the database. So we can do so by opening in our PHP language. Go here like that. And then we're gonna say require uh, database.php. Okay, so it's required. Um, require means that if it fail or it missed this file your website will will break down like it doesn't work another word for if i like include okay include something like your website is still run but it's just even if it doesn't work then it's still okay but in this case i want to do require okay to see if, if it works right final check so we got a server we got a user we got a password db database all right and everything looks fine so far let's just re refresh our website to see if it works successfully connected to the database so there we have it all right we can we can even modify it a bit connect it to uh, if you want you can just database here and then you're going to just db okay let's refresh the page database tutorial 
all right so so far look fine to me so um that's it guys so this video is just very simple um showing you how we can connect our you know html website php uh to the database using the php okay um thanks for watching hope you find this video helpful